Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see how to find Pythagorean triplet with an example and also if one of the member of the Pythagorean triplet is given, how to find the other members of the Pythagorean triplet. Our first question is explain Pythagorean triplet with an example. So, consider the following. So, we know that 3 square plus 4 square equal to 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. So, 9 plus 16 is 25 which is nothing but 5 square. So, we can say that the collection of numbers 3, 4 and 5 is known as Pythagorean triplet. So, 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. So, the collection of these 3 numbers 3, 4 and 5 is known as Pythagorean triplet. So, the next Pythagorean triplet is 6, 8 and 10. See, if you see here 6 square plus 8 square, it should be equal to 10 square. Let's check that. So, 6 square is 36 plus 8 square is 64. So, 36 plus 64 is 100 which is nothing but 10 square. So, thus 6 square plus 8 square which is equal to 10 square. Therefore, we can say that 6, 8 and 10 is a Pythagorean triplet. So, we have one more thing. So, again we are observing that. 5 square plus 12 square. So, 5 square is 25 plus 12 square is 144. If you add this, you will get 169 which is nothing but 13 square. So, the three numbers 5, 12 and 13 form another Pythagorean triplet. From the above considerations, we can form a pattern. So, for any natural number m which should be greater than 1, we have if 2m squared plus m square minus 1 the whole square which is equal to m square plus 1 square. So, the values 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 forms a Pythagorean triplet. So, now let us try to find some more Pythagorean triplets using this form. Next example is write a Pythagorean triplet whose smallest member is 8. So, solution. So, we can get the Pythagorean triplets by using the general form 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So, now first let us take m square minus 1 equal to 8. So, if you take m square minus 1 equal to 8, then we have to add 1 on both the sides. So, if you add 1, you will get m square equal to 8 plus 1 which is nothing but m. So, which gives m square equal to 9. So, your m is equal to 3. Then, next you can take 2m equal to 6 because m equal to 3 we have to find the next Pythagorean triplet which is 2m so 2 into 3 equal to 6 then next you have to find the third Pythagorean triplet we have the form m square plus 1 so here m is 3 so 3 square plus 1 that is 9 plus 1 which is equal to 10 so thus the triplet what we have obtained with this given a number 8 as 6 8 and 10 but in our question, it's given that you have to form a Pythagorean triplet whose smallest number is 8. But here 8 is not the smallest number. 6 is the smallest number. So, this is wrong. This is also one of the triplet which contains the number 8. But here 8 is not the smallest number. But in our question, we want to find 8 as the smallest number. So, we are going to try it in the other way. Now, what we are doing is we are considering 2m as 8. So, now if 2m is 8, then m equal to 4. Divide by 2 on both the sides, you will get m equal to 4. Now, for m equal to 4, we are going to find the other two triplets. So, for m square minus 1, you will get 16 minus 1, which is 15. And this is the second triplet. And the next triplet is, you have the form m square plus 1. So, m square is 16 plus 1, which is nothing but 17. So, thus we have formed three triplets. So, 2m that is 8 m square minus 1 that is 15 and m square plus 1 which is nothing but 70. Okay. So, here if you see here, here 8 is the smallest triplet. Thus, 8, 15 and 17 is the Pythagorean triplet whose smallest member is 8. Our next example is find a Pythagorean triplet in which one member is 12. So, solution, we can get Pythagorean triplets by using general form 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So, given one member is 12. So, any one of the number is 12. So, now first let us take uh, m square minus 1 as 12 and we are going to find the other two triplets. So, now if you take m square minus 1 as 12, if you are going to find out m. So, we are adding 1 on both the sides. So, you will get m square equal to 13. So, to find m, we want to take square root on both the sides. So, if you take square root, 
you'll get m equal to square root of 13. So the m value is not an integer. So this is not possible. Next we are going to take m square plus 1 as 12. We are going to check with the next triplet. So if you take m square plus 1 as 12 to find m, we want to subtract 1 on both the sides. So you will get m square equal to 11. So to find m, you want to take square root on both the sides. So square root of m square is m which is equal to square root of 11. So m value is not an integer. So this is also not possible. Next we are going to take 2m as 12. So then if you take 2m as 12, you will get m as 6 and m square minus 1 as m square is 36 minus 1 which is equal to 35 and m square plus 1 as 36 plus 1 which is 37. Therefore, the required triplet is 12, 35 and 37. The important point what we have to note here is all the Pythagorean triplets may not be obtained using this form. For example, another triplet what we have is 5, 12 and 13 which also has 12 as one of the member. Our next question is write a Pythagorean triplet whose one number is 6, 14, 16 and 18. First we will take the first number as 6 and we will find the other two Pythagorean triplets. So we can use the general form again. So which is 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So the given one number is 6. So now we will consider that m square minus 1 as 6. So then if you take that as 6 then m square will be 6 plus 1 which is 7. So if you take the value of m from here it is not an integer because you will get square root of 7. So this triplet is not possible. Now we are going to check with the next triplet. We are making m square plus 1 as 6. Okay, then if you take that m square will become 5. So if you find the value of m then it will be square root of 5. So this is also not possible. So now we are taking 2m as 6. So then m will be 3. So with this m as 3 we are going to find the other two triplets. So m square minus 1 which is nothing but 3 square that is 9 minus 1 8. And m square plus 1 that is 3 square plus 1 that is 9 plus 1 which is 10. Therefore the required triplets is 6, 8 and 10. The next given is one of the number is 14 and we want to find the other two triplets. Again we are going to take the same form 2m comma m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So if you take the middle triplet that is m square minus 1 as 14 then m square will be you have to add 1 on both the sides. So you will get m square as 15. Then if you take the value of m, it will be square root of 15. It is not an integer. Then, so it is not possible. Now we are going to substitute 14 for the next triplet, m square plus 1. So if you put m square plus 1 equal to 14, then you will get m square equal to 15. So to take the m value, you will get square root of 15. Again, it is not an integer. So this is also not possible. So we are going to try with the next triplet that is 2m. So now we are taking 2m is equal to 14. So you will get m equal to 7. Then m square minus 1 will be 7 square is 49 minus 1 which is 48. And the next triplet is m square plus 1 that is 7 square 49 plus 1 which is 50. Therefore the required triplets is 14, 48 and 50. The next number given is 16. In the same way we are going to substitute in any one of the triplet. We are going to find the m value and we are going to substitute that m value in the other two triplets and we are going to find all the three numbers. One number is given we want to find the other two number. So if you substitute in m square minus 1 as 16 so you will get m square as 17. So m will be square root of 17 so it is not possible because m is not an integer value. Again. If you take m square plus 1 as 16, so m will be fifth, m square will be 15, so m will be square root of 15, so that is also not possible. So we are making 2m as 16, so you will get m equal to 8. So m as 8, you have to substitute in the other two forms, that is m square minus 1, which is nothing but 64 minus 1, which is 63, and m square plus 1, which is 64 plus 1, which is 65. So thus the three triplets are 16, 63 and 65. The next number given is 18. Now we are going to substitute 2m as 18. So you will get m as 9. 
So you can find the other two triplets by substituting the m value in the next form. That is m square minus 1 which is nothing but 9 square minus 1. 9 square is 81 minus 1 which is nothing but 80 and m square plus 1. So 9 square which is 81 plus 1 which is 82. Therefore the required triplets is 18, 80 and 82. So hope you have understood how to find the three Pythagorean triplets if any one of the member is given. Thank you for watching the video.